All right. Good morning. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good night. Wherever you are. Um, how you doing? So, this is gonna be part two of my simulator experience. I think I'm gonna call it that. Simulator experience. I'm gonna call the first one the simulator experience part one, and this is gonna be the simulator experience part two. So, if you uh, if you did see the the, the previous video, um, I explained. Uh, my experience with the uh, with the simulator that Warner has it's the, with the um, with the mobile simulator and see if I can see if I can get you uh, uh, there it is it's starting to come in but that's that's the uh, uh, the trailer that the uh, mobile simulator is in and okay so in the first video I explained my experience and the end result of, of my of my uh, um, simulator experience and I gave you my thoughts on that so I uh, I went back in and I asked the uh, the instructor if, if there was any kind of you know any kind of results that that I could get you know like a printout or something like that he says well no there's no printouts but what he did was that he did kind of give me um you know some of the some of the results that the that the computer scored up um now there was a there was several different sections i guess i'm i'm assuming that there were several different sections that there seemed to be a lot more data there on the screen than what he was telling me so um yeah i'm i'm thankful i'm grateful that he that he did give me some information, but I don't think that that was the the, the complete story, you know. Um, but he, um, but he told me that I had a hundred percent on the um, on the introduction portion of the uh, of the simulation, and if my memory serves me right, the introductory portion of it was just it was the first uh, the first section of the, of the simulation where I'm just driving around and you know observe observing things and trying to get a feel for how the vehicle is 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 working on the street so you know that was pretty much i had to make sure that my mirrors were adjusted I had to make sure that i had you know that i had i was in the right gear making sure that my signal lights worked, checking to make sure that nobody was uh was in the lanes that i'm that i'm trying to get into you know things like that just observing to make sure nothing's coming out in the street making sure that i'm not running off the road it was very basic introduction stuff. So he said I got a hundred on that. Um, and he started looking around some more. And he says, "Well, you you know, um, we recorded a heartbreaking, um, you know, heartbreaking event, you know." And I'm like, "Well, well, yeah. I mean, heartbreaking. You can't really tell whether or not, you know, what what it is you're doing." And I I think I know where I did the heartbreaking at, and it's probably at that construction zone. Because when I when I see that I'm blowing past the flagger I'm like well I think I need to stop so I hit I hit the I pretty much mashed on the brakes then uh, to ensure that I stopped so okay you know so that uh, he says well you know you, you had the collision I was like yeah um, one thing that I forgot that he he put me in a scenario where I had to back up into a dock and um, and this is the thing when when I when I started I started off you know a couple blocks away from where I needed to, needed to go started off had to make a turn you know come on down um, make a couple of turns and then I go inside the uh, inside you know the property and I had to go and pull up to a uh, uh, you know, have to go pull up to uh, pull into a dock so you know, I had cars, you know, it's a parking lot. I, had, I got cars on either side, and I got trailers all over the place. And I had to learn how to, well, I had to, um, I have to be able to maneuver all that stuff and back in, uh, back into a slot, you know, all without, you know, without hitting anything. So, now here's something else. You, your depth perception is all jacked up when you're looking at, at the computer screen. Um, because now it's not I, I've seen some some virtual reality stuff I've seen I've seen you know a lot of our video games have more depth perception than than this uh, uh, this simulator 
So the the depth perception depth perception on this on this thing sucked because of course you're looking at you're looking at a 2D image that's trying to be 3D. So I didn't want to. You know, I, I know that I you know based upon how everything was was sitting, I can typically look at at something the way that I have my mirror set and all that kind of stuff. I can typically look and see where you know where I'm at and not hit anything. Typically, I will say this that the side of my um, the side of my vehicle um, right there by the uh, right the, the plastic molding um, uh, where the step stirrups are at on the passenger side I have I have a crack there and that's because um, that's because I hit a barrier but here's the here's the situation with that is that it was super dark okay um, in the in the area that I was that I was in now before I attempted to to do any any backing I did what we're supposed to do what and and if you're if you're in uh, if you're in a, a driving position or you know tr uh, everybody in trucking knows what goal is which is which is get out and look that's what goal is I knew that it was dark out there so I knew I wasn't gonna be able to see everything so this was the reason why I got out to try and see you know try and and, and just get a get a, a synopsis of where everything is at okay now I knew that there were some barriers out there and I was trying my best to avoid them I had to I had to back in I had to back a trailer into a slot now this this place was uh, this was in at the uh, at one of the terminals one of the Warner terminals and I had to back that that trailer into a slot and the uh, the yard was super super congested okay so <clears throat> Here are, the, here are the elements. It was it was a super dark area. The only lights that were around were on the perimeter. There was only a few lights that were on the perimeter of the property. Now, the uh, the lights that was in my area was shining in a in a in a way to where it does cause a hazard um, to a person looking because the because of it because of the center portion of the property was dark you can't really see anything and then when you got that light that's sitting on the on the on the perimeter portion of the property shining in a way to where it, it actually blinds you to where you can't really see anything that's going on in your immediate area it does cause uh, it does cause a problem and you know you gotta you gotta be careful <clears throat> I was super super careful very careful I couldn't have been more careful the problem is that I could not see where that barrier was and I'll tell you the reason why so as I'm maneuvering getting into uh, getting into my into that slot I was getting in there just fine and I actually had the tail end of the, tra of the trailer actually in the slot and so I was just bringing the truck around to you know to straighten out the truck to get in there so now <clears throat> As I'm doing that, I'm I'm constantly looking in my mirrors. I'm looking in my mirrors. I'm looking in front of me. I'm doing all these things. I got one, two, three, four, five. I got six mirrors. I'm looking at each of these mirrors, and each of these mirrors are giving me a view of of what's going on. However, I cannot see what's sitting right there below me, like right beneath me, um, which is where the passenger step stirrups are at for the for the passenger side there was one of these cinder blocks that was <clears throat> that's supposed to be used as, as like a barrier it was sitting right directly in the in the front of, in the area where um you know where i needed to uh, back my trailer into now when i looked when i when i when i did my when i did my setup and i looked around that barrier was what looked to me was you know well ahead of me it looked like I had plenty of room to uh, to back in so now but now these these barriers they were not in a uniform uniform area they were kind of just like they just tossed there uh, to try to attempt to try and barricade um, the center portion of the of the property but they weren't really they weren't really placed in a neat fashion so 
<clears throat> I'm thinking I have enough enough room. So I go out and make maneuver. I'm, I'm getting the trailer in there. And as I start to swing the truck around to straighten out the truck and get into the into the spot, I cracked the molding around the uh, around the the, the, the witch collar. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this here. Hold on. Hold on just a moment. Home messaging. You have five hours and ten minutes of remaining drive time. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this through off. Okay, change that. Okay. There we go. Now. Okay. Now. Home. Messaging. You have five hours and nine minutes of remaining drive time. Okay. So, so anyways, I hit this barrier. And first of all, I'm like, what the hell was that? I wasn't going very fast, just creeping along. But the thing is that because because of the way that the barrier was, it was it was the, the corner portion of the barrier which came up against my truck it was just the pressure of of the truck just coming up you know just pressing up against it well it, it cracked that plastic molding so as soon as I heard the crunch I stopped you know so there again like I like I've mentioned in the other in the other video is that you you go slow so that in the event that you are about to hit an object you can stop super quick or, or even if you or even if you do hit something you minimize the damage uh, that you cause because you weren't going so fast so I inched my way in there and I and I cracked that so when I came out and looked I'm like wait a second why how did I how did I how did I hit that I thought that thing was was further up I, I'm like I looked in my mirrors I couldn't see anything but then I started looking at the details around I'm like I started off looking at the lighting, looking at at how dark it was in the area that I was, looking at how the lighting was actually causing me to to not see too many things. I was looking at that barrier, which it shouldn't it actually shouldn't have been where it was because it was to, it was out of place. Looking at it at the rest of the barriers that was in that area, it looked like that was out of place. And like I said, it was not nothing was 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 nothing was really put in place you know to really look neat anything like that it just looks like somebody just threw that stuff out there okay um but here's the kicker is that i'm like well how come i couldn't how come i didn't see that because i i would uh something like that i would have seen i normally would have seen one because it was moving it would be moving in my mirror i you know i i i, I can catch certain things that that move you know rather quickly but I didn't see anything moving in the mirror all I saw was darkness that barrier was painted a super dark blue so when you look in your mirrors all you see is black you just see blackness you see the light in the mirror from the perimeter lights which actually makes it more difficult to see uh, things around you because if you if, if you if you do have good night vision you can typically see things in the dark and I I do have some I wouldn't say that it's bad but I, I, I say that it, it, it is good enough that's been working for me my night vision is good enough to where it's been working for me to where I can see stuff but when you got lights that are flashing or in your direction and it's not illuminating anything it actually is a distraction because you can't see what you you can't see anything because the lights are just blinding you know blind that area so black is black and that blue was black okay so I didn't see it so I crunched it up and that was that was uh, that was the only only that was the only time that I've ever had a you know ever had an accident was you know just from that I haven't had an accident from anything else so anyways back to the back and situation on the simulator now he told he told he told me that I have to simulate getting out and looking in my environment okay that's that's one of the requirements he said the way to do that is that you'd have to come to his desk 
to look at the um, um, to look at the bird's eye view of my truck to see how close I am to certain certain objects and to see you know how I'm positioned. So I did that because in in the uh, in the in the simulator, it looked like I was like super super close to um, to one of the trailers. I didn't want to go any further to to risk the computer saying that I had um, that I had bumped up against the um, bumped up against the, the the truck, and I'm I did that because in one of the earlier simulations, I got dinged for. A tree branch scraping across scraping across the, the the side of the truck I'm like how, how the hell how would I know if I'm scraping across a tree branch there again the simulation wasn't giving me the proper information that I need to know as, as far as judging distance to see you know see what it is that I'm doing now I, I did move over to you know because I'm thinking okay well maybe you know maybe I would brush up against it I don't know I did move over to try and avoid that, and I thought that I did because I didn't hear no I didn't hear no stimulated noise that I'm scraping up against the you know scraping up against the trailer or anything like that. So I thought I, I thought I'm good, and then he 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 blurted out, "Oh, you scraped up the side of my truck." I'm like, "What? What are you talking about?" He said, "Yeah, that that tree right there that you that low hanging tree there." I said, "No, nah, I didn't know that I did it. I I couldn't couldn't tell." See. This is why I'm saying that this is that observing the stuff on a simulator is not is not really all the best. The better the the, the best way to, to assess somebody is to be in real world situation. You, I mean, of course, you don't want to be in a real world accident. You don't want to be in a in a in a, in a real accident or something like that. But that's the best way you're going to be able to judge uh, somebody's driving. Anyway, so I didn't. I, I figured I was too close to the uh, to that trailer because that just the way that it looked on the screen looked like I was too close. I got up, take a look at, at the at the uh, at the computers, the, the computer module. I had plenty of room. I looked at, at the way that my trailer and truck was angled, and I, I actually was uh, you know I was I was actually set up perfectly to where I can just slip right on in, um, right on up into the. Uh, into the spot then I, I had trailers on each side of my of, of my parking spot and I had I had to try and miss a trailer that's sitting right in front of me so I had just enough room to be able to maneuver well first of all when I looked at, at the situation that I was in I had to figure out the best way for me to pull in uh, pull in set up for my uh, for my for my backing and back in without running over anything now the ideal way of backing into a place is um, is through is through um, um, ideal place of, of backing into a place is to um, you know is, is on the driver's side so that's that's what you want to do is on the driver's side you want to you want to do that on the driver's side um, so that you can be able to see what's going on it's easier for you to back in I'll just just for the short uh, the short purpose it's easy to back in looking on your side driving the trailer and versus the blind side which um, essentially the other side is always gonna be blind to you because you can't see um, but um, but this left side is gonna be blind to you because you're trying to look uh, well actually the, both sides are gonna be blind to you essentially because you're trying to you can't see where the, where the, the, the tail of the trailer is at uh, so you can't judge pretty much where you know where you're going. So you you have to actually get out and look if you're trying to uh, back in on the right side of the of the vehicle. So, but the idea is to is to drive on the left side of, uh, or to back in from the left side, and uh, that's what he said that that I should do is you know drive in you know back in in the way that we've been trained. So. You know, you have to look at at what's what's what your surroundings are, and you have to figure out a plan to to make the backing happen. And so I did. I, I studied the the everything around, and I backed up according to the way that you know, in, in according to the way that that we we are taught to back up. 
and and I did it. I didn't hit nothing. I got it all the way in there, and it actually backed all the way in perfectly. And he said I got a hundred percent on, um, you know, on that. So, um, you know, so he said, now <laughs> he says, oh yeah, you didn't do too bad. I'm like, really? I didn't do. Too, I didn't do too bad. How about how about well you did pretty good. You know you did you did really good, but no it was oh yeah you you, did, you didn't do too bad. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a bad thing, but there again is how somebody perceives it. You can say oh well, you you know you didn't you didn't do all that bad. And like well, what what do you mean I didn't do all that bad? Does that mean that does that mean that uh, I could have done better? Yes and no. But I think that it would have been would have been uh, best if he had said, "Yeah, you did pretty good. You did pretty good." That still that still that still leaves uh, that still leaves the door open for improvement. But you know that's it's more positive when you say, "Yeah, you you did pretty good." When you say, "Oh, yeah, it, it you you didn't do too bad." You know that kind of gives you that kind of gives you a, a negative sensation like oh maybe I didn't do as as well as I thought as well as I should have but anyways that's that's been my total experience first time experience with the simulator so I'm probably going to get another another uh, experience with it uh, later down the road so if that's the case if I if I if I uh, tangle with the simulator again I know a little bit more about what to expect and I'll do better so talk to you later be safe be healthy and stay positive I'll talk to you later